Hey guys, welcome to Night Four Nights Nine. Um, I wanted to do a remake of the the Winchester Huntsman Silver Edition, Silver Tech Edition. Sorry, um, I haven't didn't really do a good view, review on it. I don't know. That was back when I didn't have my camera and stuff, and um, I kind of really wanted to do a better review. I've had this over for two years. To so, uh, yeah, going on yeah, two years, and I wanted to do a better review than what I did, and see now. Like, I don't know, so I guess we're just going to be getting into the review. Just going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, so, as you can see, Silver Stack Edition, Huntsman, and you can see it says Victor Rocks there. And um, on the other side, it does have my name in, uh, engraved and stuff, and... What I wanted to do was just, like, go over everything and how it's been working for me. So, um, let's get into it. Alright, so we've got the main blade right here. You can see that. Main blade. You can see my camera or whatever. But, main blade, we also have... Sorry, guys. The secondary blade. These two blades I have used a lot through, like, through time. I've used this a lot. Um, the main blade, um, I've used it for opening, to open up packages, to whittling wood or creating spares or whatever. I've created, I actually, um, I'm, soon when it gets a little bit warmer, because we're having, we're having a cold, uh, month, um, here in Connecticut, but, um, yeah, like, when it gets a little bit warmer, I'm going to be doing some videos on uh, how to make a a fishing bowl. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this knife, but out of, uh, you know, some materials. But I've used that. I have did one. I did uh, make uh, something out of that. And this little knife I've used mostly for packages and stuff. It's got a lot sticky. It's kind of sticky. Like, um, I don't know what's, what I opened the last. I think it was for Christmas presents, but... Yeah, um, I haven't, I've, actually, it's a lie, I have sharpened this blade before, I haven't sharpened this one. I sharpened this about a couple months ago at my uncle's, um, and he used the spider coat, and it's not sharp anymore. I've, I've kind of sharp, I didn't want to sharpen it too sharp, but, um, once I get a sharpener, definitely be a lot better. Um, Alright, so let's get into the, like, the um, one of my favorite parts about this, which I really wanted, which I have to clean a little bit, is the scissors. The scissors on this, it's they're sticky, of course, from opening up packages and so much more. But these scissors are amazing. I have opened up so many packages. I've cut small things with it like even outside I've cut like vines little vines I was trying to cut with them just putting this knife to the test I I just love these scissors and see how they're stuck closed I need to fix them or put some WD-40 or something on them but still a great pair of scissors um let's see what we can get into the saw wow this is I don't know. I didn't. I thought I would never find a use for this saw, and it's like it was like um it was like a love hate relationship with this saw because this thing came out super sharp out the box. Like you touched it, and I I it's it's still pretty sharp, but when I touched this, it it hurt me. Like it literally hurt. Like it was just amazing how this saw works. And the the hate about it was is that when I when I opened it. My nail used to get all messed up because it was so sharp, but since it's a little bit duller, it's still uh, pretty okay to use. Um, what else do I want to get into on this? Oh, here. This is, I've used this for a couple parties so far, not too long ago. This right here. Uh, this is a um, can opener with a little uh, flathead screwdriver, and then this is the bottle opener with the big flathead and uh, I've used I was using this um, at a party for my sister uh, to open up beer bottles for everybody of course I don't drink beer of course but 
I was opening up beer bottles for everybody with this because she didn't have a can opener, I mean a bottle opener, excuse me, and um, this I've used for like small things when I went camping and stuff, and uh, yeah, um, sorry if I'm a little bit out of frame, but hmm, let's uh, take it on over to the back, wow, another great useful thing, and I always thought, well, I'm only, I'm young, I'm not, I'm not going to be drinking wine, but, of course, having aunts and uncles and brothers and sisters that are older than me, a lot older than me, um, I ended up opening wine for that party also with this, and, um, actually several occasions I've opened wine for people, and, uh, surprisingly, works really great. Um, okay, then this doesn't want to seem to come out. Hold on, guys. There we go. This is the the aisle, and which has a little sewing eye in the middle right there. But uh, this all I've used to make that fishing pole again to make to put the eyelids. You know, you go like that in the wood to make the eyelids, and then or to put the eyelids in or whatever. And uh, the all I've used to like little things. This used to be like really sharp right here. But I've used it for many different reasons, and now to open this, this is another hate relationship kind of thing. Didn't like how the hook opened, but this um, I have used to clean off my boots. Um, I've cleaned I've cleaned off my boots a lot with this. Many different boots that I've had since my steel toed boots to my my see that little end there right there. It just hooks. But I've used this for many different reasons and um but mostly to clean off my boots. And um yeah, it it extends back, guys. Don't think this is broken because I actually thought I broke it once. This just extends back. See, nothing wrong with it. Um lost these so many times, these little tweezers. Always managed to find them. Always buy them. Toothpick, I've cut down. I have to get a new one because I've had a couple of them and I lost them and broke them and stuff. But let's just get into like closer detail. It's my name and stuff, but um, right there, see that beautiful. I mean, I just wanted the Silver Tech Edition instead of the traditional red because loved the way it looked, but um. Yeah, guys, it's been a great knife. It's been with me through a lot of camping and just everywhere I've went from. And this has been my EDC knife for these two years. I've, I've always had this on me, even if I got a new blade and I was trying it out. If the new blade wasn't good, I've always had this one. And it's just been a great help to me. And uh, I just want to give a shout out to victorinox and swiss army themselves and for putting out great products and uh yeah guys uh thanks for watching uh knife point 99